Hi, this is Yes Coding. In this video, we're gonna learn what is DLL. Recently, I've been doing small call integration project in my company. Client calls, then my company's mobile carrier send me the API, which includes client's information, such as his phone number or the time. When I get those APIs, then I will look up the database using those information and then summarize them. And I would send it to company's Slack channel so that CS team can notice who is calling so that they can prepare. The key of this project is API which mobile carrier provides whenever client calls. Actually, I thought this is pretty simple project because I expected the mobile carrier provides RESTful API. However, they disappointed me. They just provide DLL file and development manual. I didn't know what the DLL is at the moment because I only have experience on macOS, so I started to inspect. DLL means Dynamic Link Library. Microsoft Windows made it, but before diving into DLL, it's better to see what is library in software development. In software development, there is a very important principle. Do not repeat yourself. Redundancy is a little crime in programming. To avoid repeating same code, programmers made a concept library. We can save common use functions and data types in library so that, they, so that we can utilize it. Let's see left side. Let's say that there is a function x. Module A, B, and C needs to use this function x. You can make function x in each module. Like function ax in module A, function bx in module B, function cx in module C. It works, but repeating same code three times is bad practice. You can do same thing, but more efficiently using library. Let's see right side. Save function x in library, and you just import function x from library. In this case, you need to make code for function x just one time. All right, this is what library is for. We can divide library into two kinds, static library and dynamic library. Let's say you have three programs and decide to use static library file. Then you should make three library files. When using static library, library file is compiled with program. It's easy to port library to program as each library file is in program already. But using static library can waste memory. Because actually those three library has same code but we put in every program and compiles together. What about dynamic library? When using dynamic library, we separate programs and library file. We only import library file when executing program. In this way, we can save memory because we only use library when we need. And also we can reduce code redundancy because we only make one library file and utilize it. But we can face dependency hell issue in case that someone changed the library file, but we didn't know. Then every program using this library can be affected and make errors. Library files has different extension name depends on operating system. My company's server is on macOS and Node.js, so Actually, I needed dilib files to integrate mobile carrier's API, but unfortunately, they only provide DLL file. So, I decided to build independent web server in C Sharp and connect with company server. There are two ways to use DLL. One is to make DLL file and export it so that other modules can use it. The other way is to import DLL file provided third party and utilize it for modules. 
This is what I needed in this project, as the third party called mobile carrier provides me the LL file and I had to make executing module for this. This is one of sample code I made. As you can see, there is a DLL import method in C-sharp already after putting the LL file in executing folder and import and then find the function in development manual and use it. But sadly, this project ended in failure as I had to run this server in live because I couldn't run on local development environment based on macOS, but it will of course cost, so I gave up. But it was a very interesting project and I learned. I strongly recommend you to try integration project if you have any chance. Happy coding!